Hello, I'm Pauline from PQW and I just want to share with you a new tool we've designed and the tool is for balancing our colours when we're making all of our patchwork blocks because I really find that our, our blocks will turn out much better if we have a good balance of light, medium and dark shades in each block. So this is our little tool and I'm going to explain a little bit about it to you. We've got the little heart cut out, that's so we can see our original colour. This red um, template we hold it over the top of the fabrics and it will show up what is a light what is a medium and what is a dark contrast fabric so let's start with these lovely little polka dots now if I hold these up and put the tool over the top you'll probably see that the top two are looking much the same color value and the bottom one is showing to be darker now so in that case I've got two mediums or two lights and one dark but let's take one of these away, we'll take the pink one away and we'll introduce the darker blue spot. So now we'll put these in. Now let's have a look at what's happening. So now we can see the pink dot or the movi dot one becomes our light, the lighter teal colour becomes our medium and the dark blue becomes our dark. So now I'd be very happy using those three fabrics together in a block because I now have the good balance of colour. I may want to change prints um, because I may not want to use all spots in my block so I look for values of those sort of colours in other florals and that. But now let's work with um, this lot here. So let's put the tool over the top, just shift these ones out of the road. Now looking at those we can probably see we've got a mixture of everything here. So let's start sorting them. To my eye, I think this is a light. So we'll put it up the top, then we'll put these down and we'll see what our tool's going to help us with here. So now looking at those, we can see the top two are kind of the, in the light range. The yellow and the green are showing up to be you know, much the same value and the one at the bottom is showing up to be a bit darker. But I'm just a bit worried about this one. If we put it down the bottom, is it going to become darker than that blueprint? I'll hold this up and now have a look. And it's, it's not really showing to be any darker. So I think I would remove that one from the combination and I'll use that as a good contrast. So now with these, I'm now going to get a better balance of shading. So it's just a great tool to have sitting on your cutting table so every time you're choosing fabrics you can pull this out, you can lay it over the top of your fabrics just to see if you're going to get the right combination and we can naturally see here this bottom one or the second bottom one is going to be of the lighter shade so that'll be our light and the bottom one will be the darkest but this one's showing up to be quite dark also so I might take it out and put it at the bottom and see if it becomes the dark but when I do that a lot of the light shows up on that one so that one's a little bit of a mystery of where it would fit but it will still work well with this combination of fabrics so I'd be happy to use those four fabrics in a combination of a block that I was piecing together this little tool even works to help you balance your colours when you're doing appliques and all sorts of things. So it's just a very handy tool. So have a look at our website www.pqw.com.au and have a look around and see what other great tools we've got there for you that will help you get on your way to being a really, really good quilter. So bye for now.